problem stems from these people. But we have to handle it. We have to base uh, the end of the road that we're going now, as, as uh, Mr. Watt said, the end of the road we're going now, there's no water. So we have to stop the water consumption somehow. And the people coming in make it very difficult to do. But agriculture is going to have to curtail its permits because if we don't stop so much irrigation, we won't have any water left. And agriculture can function without without irrigation. It's difficult. And we did it before we had a water association. There was time when we had to have the irrigation. It's good. I grew up in a dry farm. Uh, dry farm. My dad was a dry farmer in Nebraska and during the 30s. We had the irrigation to the vent. And we grew food. <coughs> Uh, it was more perspective to curtail irrigation. We would have to raise raise the cost uh, price of your product, and we agreed with that. We don't want to do that. He said nobody wants to. We will have to, and we don't have to share it. This cannot go all on the shoulders of the farmer because we have to have the farm. We have to eat, she said. But we have the water to the farms. So we all have to share this, and the consumer has to do it. And we are we are ready to do this because if we're not ready. We'll have to do it. It will be forced upon us. So I think we to start the project. Spending money is not the answer. Spending money, you can say all kinds of millions of dollars means nothing to me. What we have to do is address the two main problems: overpumping and overfertilization. We have to pay the price for both of those. Then I think we also need to focus to. Like yard, you'd be surprised if fertilizer put on yards over fertilizer. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. And again, as Mr. Roth said, yeah. there are urban areas where, of course, that is the main culprit, and there are uh, rural areas where it's agriculture being culprit. So in, in our area here, it's agriculture. There's no doubt about it. But it's everybody. I, 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 I agree. Disagree you can with disagree. You. Okay. I'm gonna disagree. All right. Today's farmer uses precision agriculture where they go in for soil samples that. Every two and a half acres, they tell you exactly what that crop needs, and then they go in there with the equipment, with technology Pro. that we have today, put exactly what that plant needs. I don't dispute and that. And we have soil moisture probes that shows when that salinity. You, you, you can't help a five-inch rain. You know, I get your fertilizer. But, but you the can. end result is we have to stop the amount of fertilizer and nitrates going into the rivers. That has to happen in the ground. And a lot of that is people along the river. I agree with you that. It's everybody. But we I agree. It's a, it's okay. a communal problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.